Hi, you winners, and welcome to another Winning Wednesday. Now, if you guys don't know, this is... Fighting Fox. Fighting Fox, my little sister. Hi. Yes. Fighting Fox is your username on both platforms now. Yes. YouTube and Twitch. Yes. So, we are going... I'm just going to go quickly over what's going on with the channel and with Twitch, just with this last week, and what maybe I have planned. Um, and then we're going to talk about our Halloweens, and then I'm going to talk about important streams, like charity stream this weekend and stuff like that. So, just real quick, what's been going on with uploads is pretty much the evil within two and fear. <laughs> and I just whipped all that out super fast because I just wanted to get fear done before October ended and be caught up with the evil within. Problem is I'm not caught up now, but that's besides the point. Um, I didn't have a lot of time the last two days. So that's why Friday the 13th is up because those are quick. Just here's a 10 minute video, easy to edit, easy to upload. That may or may not be what I do today, depending, because Splatfest was giving me a little bit of an issue. But what I'm pretty much planning on doing for this next week is Splatfest uh, uploads here and there. I want to do the Evil Within that I just did this last weekend. And probably some more Friday the 13th. I'm trying to get out what I can. I would at some point love to get to two uploads a day, just time but I have way too much backlog that I can even like account for. So I have a lot of footage, but not a lot of time to edit that footage and put it on YouTube. So I'm getting there, but it's a slow inchworm process. But other than that, uh, what happened streaming wise this last week, I have to switch over to Twitch so I can see. Last Thursday we did the Game Wisp picks. So we finished up Gravity Ghost. I cried like a little bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sobbed. Mm -hmm. It was so sad. Um, I'm not gonna ruin it though. It was good. It was a really good game and surprisingly good for like a puzzle or surprisingly story driven for a puzzle game. But at some point I would like to upload that in three hour long chunks, but we'll see how it ed edits down. Maybe it'll be even shorter and I can get it in two videos. Either way, I finished that up on Thursday and then started someone else's Game was pick. It was Alpha Polaris, which is a weird, it's almost like the thing, the video game meets like really old school, like point and click style games. Um, and I may be having a difficult time trying to figure out how to maneuver, but at least you get to see a little bit of it, like at least an hour, hour and a half of it. Um, and then if that person requests for me to continue it, or you guys do in an in indie game uh, stream, then I'll continue the game. Otherwise, I'm pretty bad at it, and I don't know if I'm the person you want to watch play it, because I was I was struggling. That or someone's gonna have to walk have a walkthrough open, because I had no idea what to do. Um, other than that, then on Friday, me and Kita started Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, we thought that it'd be a good idea to do two and a half hours because we thought it took three and a half to be and then five with main story and extras. So we're like, oh yeah, we'll have more than enough footage to just kind of finish it on Halloween. So I'll talk about that in a second. But so we just did two and a half hours. It wasn't eventful. It was just us flirting with a girl pretty much the whole time. Then on Sunday or Saturday, I lied Saturday, I did the Evil Within 2 stream where I will slowly upload that throughout this week, so you guys should see that soon. Then yesterday, me and Kita did the rest of Doki Doki, only to find out that it was not as short as everyone claimed it was. And we went from 6 p.m. till 1.30 in the morning for me, and I was dead. <laughs> Um, we didn't want to postpone it and like I know everyone was being super amazing and considerate trying to make sure I was okay and that Kita's voice was okay because I looked like I was gonna pass out by the last two hours is what I was told but I, we me and Kita are both stupidly stubborn about continuing something until it's finished so we don't have to do it next time <laughs> like we want to get it done and over with now and then that way we don't have a like like stupidly short stream or stream where we just start, you know, finish it for an hour and then start something else. It just seems like we could just finish it then. Also, everyone kept saying we were close to the end and we weren't. We at least, someone's like, you have 20 minutes to an hour, depending on how you play. Two and a half hours later, we were still playing. So that's a very long game. Me and Kita have no idea how we're gonna edit it down. So that one might be a while before it's up. Um, but if you guys want to see it, it's all archived on Twitch. Links are always in the description below. 
Um, but yeah, it, it was quite the long game. We enjoyed it, I think, and we enjoyed the visual novelness. Kita had a really emotional scene where she's sobbing. Like, not, I don't know if she was in real life. Like, she was, it was her voice acting. But it, like, got me to tears. I was like, hold it together because Kita's, like, sobbing in my ears. And I, like, legit wanted, someone had pointed out, it sounds like we want to comfort Kita because we're like, is Kita okay? Like, she's, like, really getting into this role. And I'm just like, trying to hold it together so I can read the next person's lines. So Kita's amazing at voice acting, doki doki. Um, but that's, yeah, that's all up on Twitch and I'll try and upload it when I can. But other than that, pretty much my Halloween was what you guys saw with all this streaming. And I played some games and I don't really have anything else. You guys saw me all dressed up. Uh, I saw a movie night with all the Game Wisp peeps for movie night on Monday called Oculus. It's really good if you like horror. It was actually really freaking terrifying. Um, it has a girl from Doctor Who in it. It's really good for horror. And Sunday night we finished Dead Secret for the private live streaming. But uh, And then I also, I also saw, you know, the Bears game. And by saw, I mean I saw someone break their leg and that was about it. Because my grandparents invited us over and I really just went to spend time with family where we played chronology and I realized I'm really bad at dates. I already knew that, but <laughs> I knew it even more. That solidified my assumptions. Yep. Um, but yeah, apparently during the Bears game, one of the guys like full on broke. It, it's yeah, it's bad. bad. It's really bad. If you're not good with seeing breaks or seeing bodies move in ways they're not supposed to, don't look it up. Nope. But it, uh, no. it was really bad. Uh, his it leg was crumbled. Really <laughs> it was yeah. gross. It, mm. Yeah, that happened. But other than that, it was pretty much really chill for me. Well, what did you do for your Halloween? So, after Anime Club, which... Weeps. <laughs> after Anime Club, my friend needed to ride home. And we were already going to trick-or-treat with her and her girlfriend. Was this yesterday? Yeah. Or on Halloween? Yeah. We were already going to trick-or-treat with her and her girlfriend, so my mm -hmm. mom was just like, why don't we just kidnap you and take you to our house? <laughs> so, my little sister got kidnapped <laughs> on Halloween, apparently. So... Wait, what was your costume? Uh, I was dressed as an anime character. What was the anime character? Her name is Nanami. Okay. Which, From what show? Uh, it's an anime called, I swear I pronounce this wrong all the time, Kasigama Kiss? Or I think it is. Cassie Amicus? Yes. Uh, yes. I have no idea. I just said what and, she said, but faster. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. I don't know it. And so. so we went to go get my friend's costume. We went back here. We went back to my house. And then we watched anime and read web comics. And then finally we finally got our costumes on and walked over to... Our, her girlfriend's house, which is like five minutes away from our house. Mm -hmm. Her costume was a character from a movie that I completely forgot. And my costume was pretty much a Japanese traditional style. I forgot the name. Kimono? Yes. Kind of? Yeah. yeah kimono kind of Because I did get thing. to see it because my mom sent it to my house, but didn't tell me she was sending anything to my house. So it just says my name on it. And I'm like, huh. So I opened it. I'm like, I don't what understand this? what this is. But yeah, it was a kimono, but like the the top part of the kimono had like uh, butterflies all mm -hmm. over it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Then we walked around for a little bit. It was surprisingly, since I had my shirt on, my jeans on, plus the jeans, the flowy pants that she sent me. The flowy pants. My mom handmade it all pretty much. Yeah. Uh, like I think she bought a few things here and yeah. there, base parts, but she like cut it up to how it needed to be yeah. and stuff. And so I also put on the shirt, and then I covered myself in the robe, and I tied it up, and I'm like, I could sleep in this. This is so comfy. Pajamas. Yeah, we walked out, and we walked over there, and my friend's girlfriend had to take her brother and her little sister. Fun. We were walking, and every now and again, we'd turn around and be like, run, pick up the pace, move were they, it. Were they short? Oh, uh, one of them was two, and I'm like. Oh. Yeah, and she was like, God, you're so slow. And I'm like, it's a child. Because they're two. <laughs> yeah, it's a child. They physically cannot move as fast. Yeah. Oh, so no. they stuck me with the child. Which... <laughs> so... Not that I don't mind, but 
I'm walking with a two year old while you guys one. are a mile ahead of me. Yeah. It's because you cared. The ones who care always are the ones that end yeah. up hanging back with the mm -hmm. slower ones. And then, so we walked around and we took some treats and we came up to this one house where there was two high school boys sitting on the porch. Oh no. And so my friends and I were just like, we need to say an Undertale joke. We need to say an Undertale joke. Oh my God. <laughs> we, they walk up and I stay behind with the kids. They walked up and they were like, do you want to die? They just went like this. They knew? Uh-huh, they just started slow clapping. <laughs> and, they're, and they were like, that's just beautiful, wonderful. That's amazing. Wonderful. That's amazing that they knew. Yeah. And they like clapped you guys for it. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have known. I would have yeah. been like, are these kids gonna kill me? Because I'm really confused right now and yeah. scared and yeah. a little startled. Yeah. So then we went after that, we went down a few houses and we meet up with more friends from my school. Hey. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, instead of five people now, there are eight. Even more people to keep track of. Yeah. So we walked on and we got to this one house where they gave out pretzels, Cheetos, um, Cheetos. cheese balls, and candy. Why cheese balls? I don't know. Like, is it a packet of cheese balls or like individual <laughs> cheese balls that just made everything orange dust? <laughs> like, like packets of okay. cheese balls. I didn't even know they made packets. Like, I, I mean, my childhood of my dad being obsessed with cheese balls. It was like a container this big of nothing but cheese balls. So yeah. I didn't know and they came like that. We went to another house and we were talking and all of a sudden it came up that there was a house that gave out soda. I wanna go to this house. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to now, but I would have liked to as a kid. And then, so we were talking and they're like, oh yeah, they gave us Dr. Pepper. And they're like, yeah, we don't, we don't get, drink it. Get those kids caffeine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were like, we don't, we weren't, we are not allowed to drink caffeine. I turn around, and I'm like, give it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take right it right here. <laughs> Consume it. Mm -hmm. So she gave it to me, and within like three houses, that thing was gone and crushed. I'm not surprised. And then you had to pee like ten minutes later. No, actually, we were right. pretty far out, and it was already dark. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Trick or treat at night. Also, it gets dark at what? Six now? Yeah. Like, what's what? So then. And it's daylight savings this weekend. Oh, my God. <sighs> well, we get an extra hour of sleep. Yay. But we lose sunlight even earlier than right. usual. Right. Yeah. So, like, five, it's going to be. Ugh. Pitch black. <laughs> yeah. Life. Yeah. Why? So <laughs> then. Life. Why? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Just a <laughs> So then. My friends had to go home and take the little one home. So I was stuck with those, the four other people plus myself. So I was like, and my hands were frozen. Like I was like, oh, I'm cold. It's like what, 30 or 40? Yeah. Out? So 40 I probably. ended up walking home in the dark by myself. Oh. Thank God I had my keys. Cause <laughs> then I would have took it out and be like, Stab. <laughs> she has some sort of self-defense just in case. Oh my god. Yeah. I gotta teach you some self-defense. Mm-hmm. Because I did take a self-defense course, but that was a while ago. But mm -hmm. I can teach you basics. And then it, I came home. It'll help a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Then I came home and took up all my stuff and ended up going to sleep in the, in the pants pajamas. in the <laughs> pants that my her mom sent me. Yes. So I ended up falling asleep in that. <laughs> After we watched the Nightmare Before Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah, a a a. That's like we watched Hocus Pocus in Halloween Town. Again, yes. Halloween Town did not age well. Yeah, but Hocus Pocus is still amazing. Mhm. Mm but was that your exciting Halloween? Yes. Yes. That's way more exciting than my Halloween. Mm -hmm. My Halloween was me and Kita stuck in our individual rooms for seven <laughs> hours while we read. Crazy women talking. It was spoopy. I, I had spoopy. fake blood all over me that I then after that's why I went to sleep at 2 30 because I had all this fake blood on me that I had to wash off before I got into bed. And the the ta temporary tattoo that was like the scars on or the cuts on my neck were not coming off. <laughs> like you can tell I have all these like red marks on my neck yeah. now. Because I was trying to scratch them away. I'm like, I can't go to work with these gash fake gashes in my neck. Your like, boss would be like, are 
are you okay? Yeah, like she uh, would have probably been uh, fine with it, but if anyone came in professionally, mm -hmm. like, that would like, like, are you okay? Don't look at me. I'm really <laughs> lucky the fake blood came off, like, because my ha hand was bright red after washing it three times. Like, I look like I dipped my hand in tomatoes. <laughs> and it was just like, because I had done this and smeared it and, like, drizzled it all over me. So, like, my hand was flaming red, but it's gone now, so I'll take it. But other than that, pretty much what's happening this next weekend is Friday we are doing The Evil Within 2 just a little bit because we did a seven hour stream and then Saturday is going to be a really long stream. So Friday we're just going to do, I'm aiming for two hours. If it so happens it trails into three, cool. Maybe I have the energy to do three. So that's why I have it on the schedule that I'll be doing it for three hours on Twitch. But my goal is at least two and hopefully I don't crash and burn because tomorrow night I'm seeing a midnight showing of Thor Ragnarok. So I'm gonna be unconscious, but uh, Sleep all day, stay awake all night. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep several hours before the movie, go see the movie, then come home and crash again. So I should be okay if I'm smart enough to go to sleep before the movie. I'm just a little afraid that I'm gonna be too hyped up too. So we'll see, but We'll see what my energy level is Friday, but that is it because me and Keita already streamed yesterday and she's going to be joining me sometime on Saturday. So Friday we're using that little bit of time just for me to reconnect with you guys on top of doing a little bit more of Evil Within 2 since that thing's going to take us forever. Um, so it'll be at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm getting my hair cut beforehand, but that shouldn't interfere. I'm just getting this bit hacked off a bit. So... That shouldn't interfere, but it should be at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time till about 7, if it goes into 8, cool, wait, 6, 7, I lied. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time to about 8, if it goes into 9, that's okay, but yeah, that's my goal is at least till 8 p.m. Um, then Saturday's charity live stream! A Through Extra Life, if you guys don't know what that is, it is a, a website platform that lets gamers go through it to advertise the stream and also collect a bunch of donations to whatever uh, hospital that they choose that goes through the Extra Life platform. So we literally have this list of hospitals to choose from. I chose one in Chicago because that's close to me. Um, so I want to kind of impact the area around me a little bit and whatever money we raise will go to them. Um, I'm going to stream for a pretty long time. Um, this will be eight hours at least, and it will be at noon Central Standard Time till about 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday. So you can jump in anytime. Um, what my kind of scheduled plan is, kind of, is to start off with indie horror, or not horror, but indie games. But I think the two that I have in mind happen to be horror. So it just depends how fast I get through them. One of them is Shiver. I know because the people who made, I think it's a uh, cabin or something like that. It was uh, cozy. I lied. Cozy. I played that and it was absolutely terrifying, but it was only 15 minutes and they actually decided they sent me a key and were like, Hey, can you play this game? We may, you know, since you liked cozy so much, I was like, hell yes. So probably gonna be terrifying um, and then I think one or two others I've gotten keys for I want to kind of look at and see how they are um, so that's how we're gonna start off the stream I will then probably have you guys take a vote and if you want me to continue doing indie games I'll have like a list of ones and options but ask if you guys <laughs> someone's tired <laughs> no I just keep <laughs> continuously yawning whenever you're in the middle of a sentence I don't I love it <laughs> um so it, I'll have a vote on if you guys want me to continue indie games otherwise I was thinking of maybe starting just for like two hours because at the two hour mark I was thinking like so about 2 p.m. I will ask you guys do you guys want me to continue or do you want me to start the rise of tomb raider because I've never played it. I played the remake Tomb Raider on my channel, the full let's or the full playthrough. If I remember, I'll put it in the description, but it's on my channel. So I was thinking about starting the Rise of Tomb Raider, um, but it would only be for two hours because at four, I would really like to play Friday the 13th with Kida and some others. I asked some more about college people. If they want to join, they get first dibs, and if they want to, they get it. That's kind of our plan is at four o'clock till about maybe six. We'll play around on Friday the 13th, 
And then six to eight for the ending of the stream, me and Kita kind of plan on doing Splatoon 2 and just chilling and having a wind down several hours until the stream ends. So that's kind of the plan-ish, but I will be doing noon till eight unless something happens otherwise. But that is my plan, it's a charity stream. I will put the donation link to spam every few moments, but also there should be a mod if you guys want to know what that link is, just ask them and they'll post it for you. But that is the only plan that I have right now. Um, next week I'm sure I'll do more streams, but I'll know closer to then. So always keep an eye out on Twitter and on Twitch because the schedule is uploaded first there. And foremost, I'll most likely tweet about my ideas first, so you should be following me on those if you aren't already, if you like to be updated with everything. But that is about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this Winning Wednesday, and I hope you guys had a happy Halloween. And happy Spoopoween. Happy Spoopoween. Spoopy. Spoopy. A. And I hope to see you guys on Saturday for the charity stream. So... You probably see me there. Yes. She'll, you chat? Yes. Legit? Yeah. So if you guys see Fighting Fox, say hi. Yeah. And spam her with lots of love and highs. Yeah. And welcome. Because I'm lonely in life. You are not lonely in life. You have so many people that love you. That's why she's here. Now she's kidnapped. Just like on Halloween. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next Winning Wednesday or playthrough or whatever it is you guys watch. So keep winning, guys. Bye. Bye.